Hi guys, Minecraft today. Welcome to another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add the property integer to your block state, to your block. So again, I'm going to be doing it in this one. The code is going to be in the description if you like don't want metadata. I'm going to have metadata for this. So yeah. So you might be wondering what an integer is. It's basically any number that doesn't have a decimal point. So 500 is an integer but 500.1 is not an integer so all we gotta do is a public static final property and it's going to be property integer and I'm going to call it um, um, uh, push level so you'll be like what, why push level And I have reason I'll show you. So basically, uh, the name I'm going to call it uh, push. And min is going to be zero, and the max is going to be four. So you can just change this. So this is just like the range. And don't forget, we need to add it. So I'm going to add push level. And basically, um, you get actual state. Um, I'm going to put it in here, so if it is, it will return that, but uh, I just want to go for, Obviously, we need to do our block state. So, if we go into our resources here, block breaker, uh, push level, that's a P, so that is before the T. So, we're going to have to do this for every single one. Okay, so that's a massive, massive block state file. And I was just checking here. So, really, we should refresh this. And um just gonna check that we've done everything, push level. Yep, we've done everything. All we need to do now is here do a dot with property and then push level and that's integer dot value of zero. And we should be able to run our game and see that everything now works. So let's just wait for the game to load up. Okay, so the game is loaded up, and again, in the box states, I left a comma on the end. So, obviously, when we come in, I've got to just reload all of the textures. I don't know how I did that. I'm so clever. So, if you want to know how to reload textures, just press F3, T, and voila, your game will freeze. And you can see here, on the bottom... That is just reloading the textures, so I can't do anything until it opens up the chat, which would be soon. Yep, and um, F3 push equals four, and looking at that crashes it. That's probably got something to do with this. So. Um, so. Hopefully this works. Now you shouldn't get an error. It just depends on how you want to like implement the way of like changing the block state. Okay, so the game has loaded up, and we should see, fingers crossed, a working, you know, uh, push thingy. Obviously, I forgot to do a particle, and I press F3. Pushes all four. Um, so the particles messed up. It does work. It's just, um, yeah. It's supposed to make like make a pushing in and out animation, but like sort of a bit of a failed one. But as you can see, we have got value four for push. 
like I don't know how many times that's updating. Um, but yeah, and obviously we've got all of these. And the thing is, like, if there's a block above it, um, it's sort of going to be clipped. So I think I might be able to show this if I go inside. Yes, there's a piston head inside of this one, which is not necessarily good. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you learned something. I'm out. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So, yeah, go check them out.